Breaking news now. The time is 3 p.m. Thanks for joining us for this LEX 18 News Now. I'm Nancy Cox. A wreck early this morning killed a Madison County man. The coroner confirms 31-year-old Joshua Adams of Irvin was found outside his vehicle. The crash happened just before 6.30 this morning on Irvin Road. The coroner says it appears speed was a factor in the crash. A tanker truck flipped this morning, closing a section of U.S. 27 South in Lincoln County. People living around there were ordered to shelter in place. Hazmat crews were called to the scene and blocked the road for four hours, but it has since reopened. Be sure to join us a little later on for LEX 18 News at 5. We have the latest about an emotional return to school for high school students in Marshall County, days after a deadly school shooting. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker weather forecast is coming up right after this. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Today has been one of those days that you just want to bottle up and hold on to and then take out on a rainy day like we're going to be seeing over the weekend. For the better part of your Friday, it's just been lots of sunshine sun shining down on us here in Lexington. But right now, as we're taking a live look from our Kentucky One Health Weatherbug camera from our St. Joseph Hospital location looking towards downtown, we're starting to see some clouds rolling in. For the most part, these are just some high-level clouds kind of giving that milky appearance over downtown at this point. But even with the increasing clouds, it is still warm out there, especially for late January. Temperatures are approaching 60 degrees in a number of spots. We're at 58 right now for Lexington, also into Frankfurt. It's 59 in Jackson, 60 on the dot in Monticello. Meanwhile, your temperature is checking in at a pair of fives for Danville, also London and Somerset. Or Mount Sterling, I should say, even Somerset too at this hour. And as we look towards the rest of the day, temperatures will be holding steady around there. But for at least right now, temperatures are running anywhere from about 10 to even 15 degrees warmer than where we were at this time yesterday. Also, our Max Track Live Doppler is all quiet, at least again for the time being. We are starting to see those clouds starting to roll in as we're taking a loop of our over the last three hours of our satellite and radar. The clouds are starting to stream in from southwest to northeast across the Commonwealth. Meanwhile, we're starting to see a line of showers getting going across central Arkansas and even towards the St. Louis metro area. That eventually is going to be heading in our direction as we go through the late night hours and also into the start of the weekend. So through the rest of the afternoon and even into the evening hours, we're just going to be seeing those high level clouds starting to filter in. Then after midnight, the cloud cover really starts to thicken up. And you'll notice here by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning on our future track, a few showers could be popping up to the west of I-75 before all that rain begins to slide eastward through the rest of the day. Your Saturday afternoon is looking soggy, so you have been the long lines for the car wash over the past couple of days. You're going to get a free one during the middle parts of the day tomorrow. Even looking towards the midnight hour, rain still pretty widespread across eastern Kentucky. But then gradually we'll begin to see those showers tapering off into Sunday morning. Then some much chillier air begins to filter in on the back side. In terms of rainfall amounts, it could easily be pushing a half inch to even three quarters of an inch before all is said and done on Sunday. So tonight we're just tracking increasing clouds. Then that rain moves in tomorrow with some lingering showers into Sunday. Meanwhile, next week's temperatures take us on a bit of a roller coaster ride. We'll have more details on that coming up in your complete storm tracker forecast starting tonight at 5. Great selection, dependable service, and a competitive price. We understand, and that's what we bring you every single day. We know we have to work hard to earn your business, so we will. P Rats, because bigger isn't better, better is better. Okay, three, two. Today at five, an emotional day as Governor Bevan joins the families of victims to call for a day of prayer for Marshall County. 
Plus, classes are back in session for students at the high school there. And a high school in Harrison County receives two threats. Three, two. And on the Max Track Live Doppler, we are quiet this afternoon. We will not be tomorrow. We are tracking some rain coming in here. We'll talk about that at five. The 11, three, two. We are tracking rain tomorrow on the Max Track Live Doppler. We'll talk about how much and how long it lasts coming up at 11. Last the 11s, three, two. Your LA Stadium Storm Tracker forecast, yeah, tomorrow's looking wet, but it's also going to be maybe the warmest day for a while. We'll talk about the coldest following at 11. 11 headline, 3 2. With the LA Stadium Storm Tracker forecast, we are talking about a wet Saturday.